From your Chapter 15 folder, open the file Chapter 1501 Panel Schedules. Make sure you have the floor plan Power Level 1 open and scroll into the north pass of the building. Here we can see two distribution boards. Selecting the lower one of the two, we can see from the ribbon that we can create a panel schedule. We can also do this from the Analyze tab. Here's distribution board DBLP1-1 and it's for this distribution board that we're going to create the schedule. Click on OK. Here we can see our distribution board. The circuits. The circuit description. The circuit rating. And the loads across each phase. As we scroll down to the bottom of the board, we can see the total loads. And if we'd assigned load classifications, these would also show up at the bottom of the board. Taking a look at the total loads, we can see there's a slight imbalance between the circuits that we've created. Clicking on Rebalance Loads moves the circuits across each phase, gives us a more balanced loading. We can also move the circuits around on the distribution board to suit how we want the lights and the power to be separated. For instance, we might decide that we want lighting to be on the red phase and power to be on white and blue. Alternatively, we might want lighting and power in the same room to be on the same circuit. Selecting one of the circuits, we can move these down through the schedule so that they appear in the place that we choose. We can then lock those into place. Then, if we rebalance loads again, it's only the fittings that are unlocked that move around. As these elements move around in the distribution board schedule, the circuits in plan also update.